YouTube how the heck is going. So today we are going to move the Honda. I got to get this thing running since I put the injectors in. Then I got to move this engine because I don't like it sitting this close to the door. Plus I want to work on it so I want to be able to do it in the shop back there. So let's get it all started. So right now all I'm going to do is just try to pull it out the way. So I can back up. enough to probably back the car move it a little bit more so what I'm gonna try to do now is just get this on this bracket then I'll go from there I feel like I'm losing my mind is everybody in the world gone please Lord give me a sign so I went and specifically looked at which ones to use and this is bullshit because it says it's a 12 by 125 and that's what I got 12 by 125 and now it's acting like it's not going to fucking thread up so I don't know what to do I got one that will thread up right here No mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons in different versions. Each new update that shit worsens. Why pull back the curtain and you'll see the different vermin? We all have different burdens that all seem to cause disturbance. Yo, so do me a favor, don't treat me like a neighbor. Don't need the different flavors of your problems just to savor. I've got my own issues, I need a comb to get through. Don't need to groan with you, just go get your own tissue. Feel like I'm losing my mind. Every all right, I got this all fastened up. Now I'm gonna cut off the rest of those cables that are holding it together. Start the car, back up the car, get the lift in here, then um, get it strung up. Then we'll get it on the on the jack stand or on the engine stand. End of the song. Next time you'll sing along. Trust me, there's nothing wrong. So I got it up on the stand. That took forever. Wish I had two people doing this, to be honest, because that sucked. I'm like using spots that aren't meant for holding this shit. But hey, it's up. Now that I have the Honda out of the way, I'm gonna try to move this engine back over to there where it needs to be, where I'm gonna be working on it. Then also try to find space for this and my bike. So hopefully I can fit my bike in this corner and have everything else over there. Let's see. So I got the bike in. Next is this fucking heavy thing. But also I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put it so it's out of the way. So when I'm working on the engine, it doesn't block like what I'm doing. So I think that should be good there for now, but let's try to get this, let's try to get this engine in. If any of you guys out there want to help out a channel and lay some concrete and do a pad for me, I would much appreciate it because this, this is starting to suck. So I had to stop recording. I had to have somebody come help me and you know, I don't feel all right recording other people helping me out because you know, this is my thing, not theirs. But I got it in here where it needs to be. I need to move it just a little bit more and turn it so I could have the space 
but she's at least on the stand. That's all that mattered. That's all I wanted to do was get this thing on the stand. All right guys, with that being said, we got everything that we needed to get done today done. Um, the Honda is actually running for once. Um, I still need to get the ball joints and the hub bearings done before I get it to the dyno. So that should be a video very soon. Um, the K24 is in its place. We can start working on that. And yeah guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. There is going to be a lot more content that is coming out especially with that K24. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Love ya. The grid, feel like my brain is overloaded, man. I'm losing it.